today's class at International Bridge, that's cool. English class. Today we want to deal with you know, two confusing words in the use of uh, English. I call, they are irregular verbs. We need to learn them by heart in order to avoid confusion grammatically. Those of you preparing for exam get very calm to understand it deeply. The uses of lie and lay. Let's get started. The, the use of lie and lay. Let's consider that lie. Let me explain this part before we begin to answer this question. Lie. All right, before you do that, let's do this. I think it's not, they are not uncommon words, they are common. Let's consider two, let's consider these two options, I mean, questions. When the beggar was tired, she dashed down by the roadside. When the beggar was tired, she dashed down by the roadside. Let's consider these options light, late. Late, lame. All right. In this context, we are looking at this past tense anyway. So we need a past tense of the action here. She, what she did. Consider option B as the answer. Lay. That's the past tense there. Oh, you wonder why lay? All right. We will get to know that why it's lay. By the time we know the meaning of the lay and the notion of the lay we have. And Consider this again, number two. Mom dashed her baby on the bed yesterday. Mom dashed her baby on the bed yesterday. Mom dashed her baby on the bed yesterday. Light, late, late, light. Let's see your option. Man. Our answer here is late. Why is the late? Let's get to know that now. Okay. You, so light, light here. That's two minutes. That's two minutes. First statement, I can say untrue. Untrue. The second meaning is some when you stretch yourself somewhere. Or something stretches itself somewhere. You say you're talking about lie. The first meaning, false statement or untrue. Statement when that is when something or when, when you strike something or someone strikes itself somewhere. That is you. now this case of this like we need to learn it by heart because the forms are different. The forms we use for the first statement and the forms we use for when you stretch yourself somewhere or something stretches itself somewhere, the form two are different. Let's consider the form here. Now, present tense, the forms here, the present tense of this case. Am I you even the lie? Sorry, even the lie. Lie is an intransitive verb. Intransitive verb. Intransitive that is verb that it does not have objects after it. That means this object does not affect the blessical verb. So lie. Meaning we could just say that this uh, mm, is it lie. You can make it this way, lie minus when, when whenever you use lie, in this case. It doesn't take objects. An object doesn't follow it. Minus an object of the I got me. Minus an object. But when is this lay? I get to me. When is this lay? It is a transitive verb. The lay is a transitive verb, meaning of uh, an object to affect it, to follow, an object who follows it. We are the student of this lay. Let's consider that, okay? Okay, in this case, an L A Y. See? It's a past tense. Here, yeah, there's no object here that follows it. So it's, it is the the present tense of this one is lie, which means when you stretch yourself, the beggar stretched herself down. Are you going with me? Now consider this case, the present tense. They dash to me. That's the under the context of lie, untrue, or false statement. They dash to me. So the, the answer here will be what? They lie to me. That is a simple present tense anyway. They lie to me. And you say, she lies to me. Let's consider present continuous of this lie of untrue statements. 
The dependent continuous on, for, on, on true statement or false statement. We will say it to be L Y I N G. She. Now, mind you, whenever you use this I N G form of the continuous form, we need the auxiliary verb. The auxiliary verb to help the let's go verb. So let's say she is lying to me. They her lying to me. Are you getting it? They they her lying to me. Let's consider the same thing, present perfect. When we're talking about perfect here, we're talking about the participle form of the verb. Meaning, we don't have the model or slightly verb, the verb of do, as and has, to precede the electrical verb. And the electrical verb will change to participle when we come to the present perfect here. So we are saying, they have, they have lied. The part, that is the participle of the form of the, um, for, uh, the first statement. They have lied to us, to me. They have lied, she has lied to me. Let's consider the past tense of this lie, first statement, or true statement. The past tense will be, they lied. Mind you, this, contextually, they are not the same thing yet. The lied here is still from this one here. This one is participle, but this one is the past tense. The past tense of the lesbian verb lie on true statement. They lied to me yesterday. They lied to us some time ago. All right, let's consider this. The past perfect, the past perfect of this lie, untrue statement. They had, come on, half and ask it to change to act. Are you with me? The past tense of half and had, half, it is had. So here, we need to use the, I told you here, that perfect is equal to what? Participle form of the verb. Are you mean? Perfect is equal to what? Participle form of the verb. So we are going to have had plus participle. So the participle is going to go up. They had lied to me yesterday. Before you, I knew the truth. They had lied to me. All right. Consider the lie. In, that means when one stretch oneself or one's body, you place yourself somewhere. All right. I want to lie down. It's myself. I want to do that myself. No one is doing that for me. No one is putting me down somewhere. Are you there? So, the lie here, talking about doing stretch yourself somewhere, this one. Let's consider these forms of the verb. It will change. Consider this here, yeah, and to have different forms of the verb here. Yeah. The uh, changes of time, mind. Look at every day, I lie on the bed. Correct. Mind you, it's an interactive verb, interactive verb. What follows it here is on, in preposition. So, mind you, the object itself, the verb. So, it's not the verb that is following it. So, it's an interactive verb. All right. The every day, I lie, meaning each day. Mind you, this every day. This every day, yeah? This talks about each day. You know, like when every day is together, it will be all day. But we say every, every day, separately. It's each day. All right. Now, every day, I lie. On the bed, mind you, it's an habitual action. I used to, I used to lie on the bed. Now, this is it, yeah? Consider this one that I stretch myself somewhere. I stretch myself on the bed. All right. I am, okay, look at the present continuous here. Yeah, we're going to have the mother's body bed. I am, this M, yeah? I am lying. It's having the same form of this on first, uh, on true statements. I am lying on the bed. She is lying on the bed. They are lying on the bed. Correct. Now let's consider the present perfect. Don't forget that that we have a participle there. Meaning we're going to have us plus the participle on the bed. Already, I have, I have. Man, you, this is most confusing. Learn this very well. Open your eyes, man. All right. All this. I have. What's with the, what do you think is the answer? What do you think? Is it light? The answer is L E I N. I have lean. It's so common. We don't use it mostly. Most of us that are not native speaker in, of the English. Lean. L E I N. I already have lean on the bed. Are you with me? That is the participle form of the verb lie. When you are placing yourself somewhere or something stretches itself somewhere. All right. Now look at this past continuous here. We are looking to have the earth. I was. Lying ah, on the bed. I was lying on the bed. Same case here. L I N G. I was lying on the bed. That's the 
past continuous. What is the past then? What makes it past? The electrical vector changes to the other energy form of the progressive action line. Consider this one here, past perfect. The past perfect here, they had. We have here. I add. What do you mean? Participle. What is the participle now? This girl, I had lane. That is the participle. What we have here? The lane here. I have lane. I had lane on the bed before she arrived. That shown has came up and had came up and you know three the case here. L A I N. Alright. Mind you this. Okay, the why the pass. Oh, I have not done this. Okay, alright, let's do this one. The past tense. Last night. Last night. I dash on the bed. What's what do you think you answered? The past tense of that lie stretches somewhere. Mind you, it is I lay. What happened there? She lay down by the roadside. That's the past tense of lie. I hear I lay on the bed. Last night, I lay on the bed. Last night, she lay on the bed. She lay on the floor. Correct. All right. Let's consider this lay. Mind you, this lay now it's a transitive verb, meaning I'm an object who comes after it. It will affect an object. And mind you, this lay is the past tense of the notion that means when one stretches oneself. But this lay now is not the present, it's not a present tense. When you stretch someone somewhere or place someone somewhere, or when something, place something else somewhere, mostly when we have, or even in the case of uh, N, N, when N brings out an egg, it's how you use lay. My hair will lay here today. I will lay the baby on the floor. Mommy will lay the baby. Mommy lay the baby here every day. Come on, see that lay, L A Y. When one stretch oneself now, or when one stretch another thing, or someone stretch something else, or something stretches another thing. Your bed, your bedding. What do you do to that? The bed cover. What do you use? So you lay it. That means you are placing that thing, that material, that cutting on the bed. That is the L A Y. So it's not a present tense, mind you. The forms are not really confusing, but if you lay it right, you get it right. So see. Ellie, you have to mean as well to place something somewhere. I like to bring us egg as bed. Do all right, all right. See, let's keep, let's consider the different forms. The present tense of that lay, we say we lay, we lay the baby on the bed. Can you see the object here? Make it an up. I hear. Can you see the object there? Lay. We lay the baby on the bed. Here we can say she lays. Cause that is concord. Agreement, singular subject takes singular verb. I you mean singular plural verb takes what? Plural verb as well. That's a good verb. But let's consider the present continuous. Present continuous of this lay now when you place something somewhere or something place another thing somewhere. I you mean now? Consider that. She is present continuous. I told you, was line verb plus the less good verb. Now, and the other verb will be in energy form. She is laying. Ellie. Y I N G. She's laying the baby on the bed. Oh, she's laying on the baby on the bed. Correct. Let's go. She asked. Now we're we'll talking about present perfect now. Present perfect now. Do you remember perfect? When you're looking at present perfect, you're looking for the auxiliary verb as and have plus the participle verb. All right. Say she has laid. Helly, I D. She has laid the baby on the bed. She has laid the baby on the bed already. Don't worry. Are you mean? She has laid the baby on the bed already. Consider this one. Same thing. She, they, we will have laid the baby on the bed. Consider this one. Past tense of this lay. Of the present tense. Hmm? Past tense. Don't forget about that. It is simple. L E I D. Do you get that now? Alright. Let's consider past continuous. Fine. Past. Because he knows it will be she was laying the baby. She was laying the baby on the bed. I read. She was laying the baby on the bed. When I saw her, she was laying the baby on the bed. She was laying her mattress when I entered. Do you get? Uh -huh. So let's consider this past perfect. 
past perfect of the verb lay in the sense she had she has laid this is not said this one is simple because the forms here you know looks like the same the same thing but different contents here she had laid the baby on the bed she had laid the baby on the bed before i entered the room this verbs you need to learn them by heart they are confusing especially those of us writing exam you know irts tofu white jam any of it english exam text you need to learn this very hard if you should say it the way or to pick your option the way you are using needs on a normal day mind you <laughs> it leaves error error will fire back so let's consider to learn this by heart have a lovely time see you next class at the international radio school oh.